Only piece of a sphere you need to worry about is this piece. What do you think that piece is? It's the radius. That's the only thing you need to worry about in the sphere. And what's, what is the radius? And you'll see why when we do the formulas. I do have some bad news right off the bat. Surface area of a sphere. Go to your formula sheet. Not volume, surface area. Problem, anybody? Problem? It's not there. That's one of the formulas you're going to have to remember on this second half of the unit. Surface area, there's no surface area formulas on your formula sheet. Surface area of a sphere, I don't feel bad either because it's not even that bad. It's four times the area formula of a circle, pi r squared. There it is. Four pi r squared. Done. So I don't feel that bad. It's not too bad to remember. All right, let's use it. Uh, well, before we use it, what is the only darn value I'm going to need to figure out the surface area of a sphere? Radius. Done. You know the radius, you know the surface area. Remember that. You know the radius, you know the surface area. Uh, so what if I give you a circumference? One of the cross sections of the sphere has a circumference of 20 pi, so what's the surface area? Well, you're not going to find it now unless you know the radius. So can you figure out what the radius is given circumference? Well, let's start there. What's my circumference formula? I know I'm asking something from two units back, but circumference? Come on. Here we go. One circumference, Meg. Pi D. And I never mentioned this because I never took notice, but circumference is on your formula sheet too. Go figure. All right. So circumference 20 pi equals pi D. You won't be able to get the radius, but somebody can give me the diameter of this cross section right now. Let's hold off on those bad boys. We don't need it at this moment. Six. What's my, uh, three, three. Three? What? Diameter? I said 20. 20. Relax. 20. So your radius will be 10. Now we can find surface area. 4 pi r squared. I know there's no directions, but I want to go quick today. So can we just leave our answer in terms of pi? Leave your answer in terms of pi. Unless there is actual rounding directions. 4 pi 10 squared. It's just 10 squared times 4. Come on. It's not that bad. 400 pi. And what do you think about our units here? Surface area. Centimeters squared. Okay. All right, let's talk volume. That formula is on your reference sheet. All volume formulas are on your reference sheet. Good thing, because this thing is not complicated, but kind of strange. Four thirds times pi r cubed. Cubed, everyone, cubed. And you'll, you guys are hopefully noticing today, I'm not just, I'm getting away of, from uh, basic problems, I'm going right to the hardcore ones. If the surface, if the volume's 36 pi, what's the surface area? What's the only uh, value I need for volume? Radius, can you get it from the surface? Can you get it from, uh, well, surface area, I need radius as well. Can we get radius from the volume? Yep. So volume, four thirds, pi r cubed. 36 pi for the volume. We've talked about this before. Can we just get rid of them right now? Is everyone all right? Get rid of the pot. What happened there? Get rid of the pies. They're going to cancel out eventually. Uh, what's your next move then? 36 equals four thirds r cubed. Your next move. Oh, 24. What do you think over there? 
by four thirds? Because if I multiply by four thirds, they won't cancel. Oh, um, I could divide by four thirds, but I could multiply by. Yeah, I meant divide by four thirds. You can also multiply by four thirds. Yep, divide by four thirds or multiply by the reciprocal, three fourths. I can do either. R cubed equals 27 over here. All right, let's talk. I think this is how our discussion about the Regents exams happened, actually, second period. You're going to take the cube root, not the square root, the cube root. So the question came up, you know, where was that on our calculator? I've done it maybe a couple times, but not too many. Day of Regents exam, I cannot answer this question. Know your calculator before you come in. All right, I, you can't raise your hand. Where was that button again? And I'll just pat you on the back and say, good luck, young buck. Good luck. And just walk by your desk. Where's the cube root button? Hit your math button. And I don't know what number it is. It's either three or four. I can't remember, but it's there under math. Okay, hit your math button. Cube root of 27. R equals three. And why did we need the radius? So we could find the surface area. Four pi R squared. And again, let's make this quick. Leave it in terms of pi for me. 36 pi inches squared. Anything I can answer there? Anything else? Solving for R. All right, let's keep cranking it out here. Ah, uh, former Regents question alert. Former Regents question right here. I think it was a part three question, so a four-pointer. Two volleyballs. We got a partially inflated one and a fully inflated, and I give you the volumes for each. How much did their radius increase by? How much did the radius increase by? All right. So let's go partially inflated first. I love this question because something's going to happen that has never happened yet in this class. Partially inflated. What do I have? 180 equals its volume, 4 thirds pi r cubed. And we're solving for the radius. Anybody know what I meant by something that's never happened yet? What can I not do in this problem that I've always had the luxury of doing? Cancel out the pies. That's not happening. The 180 does not have the pie with it, so do not just automatically wipe it out. It's not happening. So I'm going to have to get rid of it eventually. Your first move to get R by itself. Your first move. Nine. It's fine with me. Or you could divide by pie. Whatever floats your boat, find your lost remote. Multiply by three fourths. Pi R cubed equals, a little help over there, what do I got? 35. Buck 35. Next move. Four, Griff. Now I divide by pi. And that count, that number, we're not going to do what with? Round it, thank you. R cubed equals, I don't feel like writing it out, so I'm just going to write 135 over pi. How about that? And now you can take the cube root. Make sure we're writing it out. About three and a half. And then go ahead, find the fully inflated one, fully inflated radius. And how much did it increase by? Now you're using 294.
Uh, for the fully inflated, you should be getting about 4.1 with the rest of your numbers. When you're ready, nearest 10. Oh, twos, 22. Yeah, I know. So did I, Quan. I want to know the increase, please. That you, this, the question wasn't what are the two radii. The question is how much did the radius increase to the fully inflated volleyball? I'll let you read the rounding directions. There, see, Quan had 100. Now he's got a 99 on the Regents. Can't do the 100 challenge. Uh, 0. 0.6. Thank you. God, it is always painful when I go over there. Always painful. There's no way you guys were the best in the nation. What was I ever talking about? Anything else? One more? Hemisphere. Cutting it in half. Not as easy as it looks, though. Surface area in particular. So here's your mind. I know this is your mindset sitting at your desk right now. Full sphere. 4 pi r squared. I got a half one. So I'll cut it in half. You're not seeing the full picture. Literally. When we did surface area, first half of this unit, we defined it as everything that is showing on the outside, correct? So when you just did 4 pi r squared times 2, you're only talking about the dome part here. What's still on the bottom? I got to count. What's on the bottom? What shape is on the bottom? A circle. That's still part of the surface area. So yes, still divided by two. That's just kind of like the dome part here. You still have to add in a circle on the bottom when you flip it up. So I have to add what to this? Pi r squared. Please be aware of that. Surface area is everything on the outside, including the bottom. You want to take this, Lauren, or should I call on somebody else to from yesterday? You going to be all right? Yeah. Woody. Think I can get a six out of this? No. Eleven. Uh, radius. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, so Mr. Gomel, just wanted to remind you that tomorrow we'll have an all-school assembly with an alternate schedule. We are very lucky to have Chris Heron speaking to us about his journey to sobriety. Chris is a very dynamic speaker, and his message will make an impact on all of our lives. Please refer to my email I sent on Friday with the schedule for tomorrow, as well as information on Chris. You will be dismissed from class tomorrow to attend the assembly by our PA system. When dismissed, I ask that you please move quickly to the gym. See yourselves in designated locations given to you by administration that will be in the gym. Seniors are asked to return to campus if you, if you have free periods at the end of the day for the assembly. Finally, bags may be kept in the classroom. If you bring your bag to gym B, it will need to stay in the lobby area. Uh, and uh, finally, it's, just, it, it's been a while since we've had an assembly. Uh, but just to quickly review, I know you all uh, will behave accordingly, but uh, just goes without saying that all our guests are giving the utmost respect when speaking. Uh, please keep your phones away completely during the assembly and off. Um, and uh, questions, just make sure there's going to be an opportunity at the end. Just make sure they're appropriate and meaningful. I look forward to attending tomorrow's assembly with you all. Have a great day.
And then finally, volume. We got plenty of time. Don't worry. Everyone, all right? 1,847.3 square feet. Volume. Do I have to worry about that circle on the bottom? No. Why? Because I'm filling the inside up. So I still want to do four thirds pi r cubed, but still do what? That's a full sphere. Still divide by two. So you could show divide by two, or if you want, you don't like the way that looks, you can multiply it by what instead? One half. It's up to you. So hemisphere, really pay attention to the surface area. Don't forget that circle on the bottom. Actually, you know what? We've got my rushing. We've got so much time. Yeah, we got a minute 15. I'm going to ask uh, somebody they're rounding here to the nearest 10. When you're ready, 24. We're staying like five minutes after. Why me? All is one messed up. And I 5,737.0. It's 10. Oh, wait. It says 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. Making a mockery of the mathematics. He tripled. Get out of here now. We're done.